are you doing? How you doing? What are we doing? I don't answer questions. You asked you to, because you're over here. No, video. can I get your name and badge number, please? Your video in? Name and badge number, please. Baptiste 3383. What's your last name? Baptiste 3383. Baptiste. Let me see some idea if you're going to video this. Absolutely not, sir. I'm not breaking the law. You most certainly are. Why Absolutely are not. I'm in public and I'm taking pictures. Okay, are you taking pictures or video? Uh, video right now. Okay. Why I'm not breaking up? the law. You're not getting my ID. And if you think this, I have this, to, this, get a supervisor here now. Who are you with? I'm not answering any questions, sir. You're not answering any questions. I do not answer questions. We have someone who's not cooperating. Can I get your name and badge number, please? Name and badge number, please. They won't give any information. Name and badge number, please. Chapter 41, section 98D, sir. You have to identify. Gillespie. Okay. Badge number is 953. He doesn't want to identify. Do you want to identify, sir? Sir? Do you want to identify? That is unnecessary. That is unnecessary for a guy with a camera. For a guy with a camera, really? Yeah, I'm in public. This is not a secure area. This area is secure. Where's the sign, sir? Where's the sign? On the airfield. No, where is the sign? Walk in, coming into this entrance. Where's the sign? Okay, which make it sure you, you, you know. I'm well within my rights right now, sir. This is insane. How many cars we got here right now? One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. Five officers, five cars for a guy with a camera. Name and badge number, please. Need your badge number, Donnie 4293. Listen to Johnny, me. What? what are you here filming? What's your badge number? 4293. What are you here filming? I don't answer questions, sir. Well, you have to answer this question. No, I absolutely you don't. No, I'm in public and I, you I'm well within my rights. Can't be First Amendment right. I can do whatever you, I want from a sidewalk. Move ahead. Sir, you no, I, whatever. You, you cannot trespass my eyes. I know what I'm doing, guys. I'm well within my rights. State troopers already. Sakhar even was here about two months ago with me. Totally fine with it, guys. Learn your laws. Learn my rights. Respect you can my rights. That way. I can face it wherever I want. You cannot film the case. Yes, I can, sir. I'm from public. I can film whatever I want. Did you call for a supervisor? Yeah, call for a supervisor. Please, I already asked. Welcome back to Friendly Policeman. Today we're diving into a real important topic, understanding your rights when you're confronted by police. We all know these encounters can be stressful, but knowing your rights can help you keep your cool. So let's break it down with the top 10 ways to understand your rights during those police encounters. Let's get it. One, know your basic rights. First off, you gotta know your basic rights. You have the right to remain silent. So if they're grilling you, just say, nah, I'm good. You don't have to answer questions if you don't want to. Oh, we got another one down here, another one right here. We got seven. Can I get your name and badge number, please? Was it Melvin? Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Yes. You're the most polite one so far. I appreciate the professionalism. You know I'm well within my right, sir? Wow, guys. Wow. Look at all these guys, they don't know what to do. Clueless, clueless troopers. See, we got one already leaving because he knows what's up. See you later, dismissed. Dismissed, dismissed. See you later, sir, I appreciate you. Trooper Melvin, professional right there, good guy. That guy, I don't know so much. Gillespie, 1555. Oh wow, dispersing, huh? Here we go, fellas. You didn't need a supervisor for that one, huh? There you go, learn the law, baby, learn the law. Thank you, sir. That's what I'm talking about. Look at this asshole. He doesn't even want to turn around where I am. Hey! Hey, what happened to my ID? Huh? Huh? Oh, he's sticking around. Good. Can't wait for him to learn his lesson. He's sticking around so you can learn a lesson, sir? I don't answer questions, sir. I don't answer questions, sir. Wow, all you guys are that clueless on the First Amendment, really? And your state troopers, are you serious? 
This is a huge waste of resources for a guy with a camera. And I think it was you coming down like a bat out of hell. That was totally unacceptable. Two, ask if you're free to go. When you get stopped, ask, am I free to go? If they say yes, just bounce. If they say no, you know they're holding you, and that's when you need to stay extra alert. Three, don't consent to searches. If they ask to search you or your ride, don't just say yes. You can say, I don't consent to searches. This doesn't mean they can't search, but it can help you down the line if things go south. Four, keep it cool and respectful. Always keep your cool, fam. It was not an emergency. A camera is not an emergency. How are you doing, sir? Are you the supervisor? No, I'm not. Oh, no. So you're just another guy that came here? Yeah, just another guy. All right, what's your name and badge number, please? Uh, so, Trooper Sepulveda. Sepulveda? Yeah. How do you spell that? S-E-P-U-L-V-E-D-A. Thank you. Yep. V-A at the end? Uh, D-A. D-A, thank you. So are we taking turns here? Because we already had three cops leave. And now we're having more come. What about the supervisor? Uh, I don't know. Is he coming? He's coming. All right, cool. You want to speak to a supervisor? Oh, he's right here. Cool. No, I want to, him to teach you guys the First Amendment so you guys can disperse and I can be out of here. How you doing, sir? There you go. That's all I want. Thank you, sir. No, that's it. Can I get your name and number? Yep. Sergeant Tasker. Tasker. Thank you. 1980. 1980. Yep. Thank you. So, uh, you get called down here because you were filming? Yeah. All right. I don't care. Two things. Stay on the sidewalk. Sidewalk for this facility. You cannot approach that gate at all. Only right here. Main sidewalk. Yep. Yep. And if you're going on the crosswalk, just, don't hit Thank you. Okay. You're thank you. Right. Appreciate it, sir. Hey, if you could teach all the troopers that were just here that I'm well within my rights, that'd be great. Good you? I just spoke to you earlier, right? This parking lot is not public property, it's private property. It right? is up to here, no public access, sir. That, sir. Well, that is actually, we'll arrest you going there. Yeah, I know. So I've there. already been here before, and Trooper okay. Sicard already said where I was is perfectly fine out here in the parking well, lot. Well, you were trying to go in there? No. Oh, okay. That's no, I'm, I'm just right here. Okay, that's fine. The main parking the lot. The thing is, if you do go in the lobby, okay, if there's any civilians in the lobby at all, you have to stop filming. That is not correct. That is actually Absolutely correct. not correct. Intimidation of a witness. No, no. You, you can't make a First Amendment protected activity a crime, sir. Yes, actually. No, you can. can't. No, you can't. Just no, no. If a person no, comes into a no. crime. I'm not hearing it. I'm not hearing it. Being respectful can help de escalate the situation. Yelling or acting all wild won't do you any favors. Just stay chill and don't give them a reason to escalate. Five, record the encounter. If you can, pull out your phone and start recording. Just let them know you're recording. This can help protect you if things get heated. Just make sure you're not interfering with their job. Six, ask for a lawyer. If things start getting serious, ask for a lawyer ASAP. You don't have to talk to them until your lawyer is present. Just say, I want a lawyer. That's your right and it's crucial. Seven, know your local law. Every place has different laws, so make sure you know the rules where you're at. It's on you to stay informed. Research local laws about police encounters so you know what's up. Eight, understand the stop and frisk rules. If they stop you and start feeling you up, yep, that's a thing. They gotta have reasonable suspicion. If you feel it's not right, speak up. You can always file a complaint later if needed. Nine, don't resist arrest. If they're determined to arrest you, don't resist. Just comply and handle it later. It's better to fight the charges in court than to escalate the situation on the spot. 10. File a complaint if necessary. If you feel your rights were violated, don't just sit on it. File a complaint. Get your voice heard and hold them accountable. You have the power to make a difference. Be sure to click on the video you see next that's in the middle of your screen.